angels, welcome back to Vlogmas. Ooh, As you can right. see, it's lovely lighting. Look at you, very glowy. And we are having the most incredible mummy daughter day here in London. The skies are blue, it is the most beautiful day and we have literally just got up to town and we are going to shop until we drop. We're going to have lunch in Selfridges at the Brasserie of Light, which is one of our favorite restaurants. We're gonna sit up at the bar. We're gonna have a right old mooch around Selfridges. We're gonna head over to Harley Street and um, it's just going to be the most gorgeous mummy daughter day. So let's do this. Brasserie of Light. Mummy is sat up at the bar. Isn't this gorgeous? Amazing. Cheers. having the most gorgeous day. So we have arrived at the Brasserie of Light. This is one of our favorite places to come. Sit up at the bar. The barmen are always super happy and just gorgeous. Got ourselves a gorgeous glass of champagne. Oh, mummy, you've got grandma with you. Oh, of course, darling. I always bring grandma when we're going. Oh, that's so sweet. So this is my grandmother's ring. We always bring her when we go on a <laughs> shopping trip. She did love a shopping trip. Thank you so much. Oh, the bang bang chicken. We've got spicy edamames. Oh, scrambled delicious. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That looks incredible. So we went for the black cod in the banana leaf with a side of miso and a gorgeous Japanese salad. How incredible does that look? And then one of my favorite things on earth is a miso aubergine. And it's stuffed with grains, you've got yogurt on the top, the pomegranates and the red pepper dressing underneath. And of course, a side of French fries. <laughs> Thank you so much.
Mummy is on the hunt for Trish McAvoy. We are going to oh, go and get one of their iconic palettes. I absolutely love this section in Selfridges, mostly because you can actually discover brands that you haven't really heard before. Now I have seen so much on Instagram about Tatcha, yet I have never tried it. It looks absolutely beautiful and it's just such a gorgeous light bright space in here. You've got face gym, you've got a blowout bar, you've got Sunday Riley, you've got everything from tan, hair, makeup, beauty, mummy. <laughs> Where is she off to? She's getting her favorite eyeliner from Trish McAvoy. Look at her, she's like a head mountain goat. She's off like a whippet. And they've got the most incredible face um, technology here. So they've got Foreo, they've got Skin Gym. Oh, it looks absolutely incredible. I absolutely love my Foreo. This is the one that I have, and it is a game changer. It just massages the faces and gets out any of that dead skin. So highly recommend that. Now this is the brand that I spoke to you about. A very good friend of mine is the head of PR. So I have been trying out shampoo and I have their serum. So this is the Pitta Growth Serum and it helps with thickness, volume and strengthens the hair. I also have the one for dry hair, which is this one here. And honestly, I've seen a huge difference. I haven't yet tried the shampoo and conditioner, so I'm gonna try that and I will let you know what I think. And I've also been using this leave-in conditioner. You guys probably know that my schedule is absolutely ludicrous at the moment. So on the days that I am at home, and on the off chance that I'm not filming, I literally put this in my hair all day <laughs> and try and leave it in so that my hair has some chance of repair but I couldn't recommend shampoo enough. This is so gorgeous in here. I've also got all of the hair tools, so you can actually come here and try out so many different things. They've got GHD, they've got Quay, they've got Living Proof, shampoo, I mean literally, they've got just about everything here, as well as a Hershison's blowout bar, so you can come and have your hair done and feel fabulous. Right, let's go and find my mother. <laughs> I've lost her in the beauty hall. Just to give you the outfit of the day, I'm sort of wrapping full haul and Cooper today, in all honesty. I've got my gorgeous sweater dress on with the buttons all the way down the front. My iconic black watch trench coat just draped over my shoulders. A little Valentino bag and then my incredible black suede heeled Holland Cooper boots. I'm feeling like this is a real vibe. Also got the black band cleefs in, hair is up. It's just the most gorgeous day. Okay, so we have officially hit Selfridges. Oh, task one done. And we are now actually heading over to Harlow Street just to have one doctor's appointment for mummy and then we're gonna continue shopping. Here we are, we've just arrived at mummy's doctor's appointment. She dreads these appointments, but we make it a gorgeous mummy daughter girly shopping day and it makes it a little bit more um, easy to bear. Well, we got the horrible bit out of the way and then we've had all of her checks yeah. and her mammogram and um, you know, it's one of those things that is calling and horrible and scary, but it is so important. Um, I didn't know whether I was gonna share that on YouTube, but I think it's, I think it's so important. Anyway, on a brighter note, we are heading to Marlebone High Street to have a little bit of a hit. They always have such fantastic boutiques, little trinkety bits, so we're gonna... And they've also got a fabulous pharmacy. We do like that pharmacy, don't yeah. we? Um, anthropology. Anthropology. Yeah, the Christmas mugs in and anthropology. Me and M. Yeah, me and M. I looked at me and M's new collection. 
I wasn't massively impressed with them ones. I think they've gone a bit wayward. The fabrics are always good, I mean, great I quality. You like the purple? Yes, I mean, it's my age group. Oh, well, we might be going into me and M to have a quick so look. We've got a very quick um, hour because we've got to be getting out of town before the truck. Before the rush hour. Yes. So we have to be. Need before four? <laughs> Let's do this. Beautiful bookshop. All the gorgeous, gorgeous books. So different as well. <laughs> no few people we could get that for. <laughs> How about that one for terrible. me? Terrible. Yoga for stiff birds. <laughs> You've seen this one. How terrible is that? Spare us. So bad. 50 things I don't do in the snow. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness, what bottoms. fun. Museum Bottoms, like that one. Oh, one of our favorite stores, Cologne and Cotton. In we go. Gorgeous bed sheets and absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dressing gowns. Look at these gorgeous, pale blue, a scalloped edge bed sheets. Absolutely beautiful. This is what we have all of our spare bedrooms in and they're absolutely gorgeous. It's around about the thousand thread counts. Exquisite quality and just so beautiful. A few little Christmas decorations. How oh, sweet. Absolutely beautiful. Mummy's looking for a few little nighties for Mallorca. Gorgeous towels. Absolutely stunning. Love a Marlebone Christmas tree, gorgeous flowers, stunning. Oh, I love that. Oh, Venera would look amazing in that. I love the jumper with the sleeves. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. <gasps> the cannoli. Oh wowzers, the gingerbread men. Why don't we get some nice, um, I've been trying to hide from daddy the, uh, the chocolate. Chocolate coins. With the nuts, with the nuts in and the... the walnuts. Oh, Florentines. The Florentines. So I've hidden two boxes You've of hidden Florentines. the Florentines. In, in, in Palmer, in the house of Palmer, in the fridge. I bought them in Mason, I bought them at the airport. And he's managed to find them and eat one whole box. <laughs> we need to replace, we need to stock up on Florentines. gingerbread houses maybe I should have just bought one already made and then I wouldn't have had a major festive fail they are so cute Come on last night and I left you whilst we were driving out of London 
by the time we got home we were absolutely pooped wiped and in all honesty we curled up on the sofa with all the saucies and watched christmas movies which was absolutely divine and this evening mummy and i well we've poured ourselves a glass of champagne and mummy is going to help me unbox the very last of the christmas decorations i feel like we leave this until gosh just before christmas and we dot those final little bits together and it's almost become like a little tradition hasn't it yes where we like leave the really, really special ones till last and then we unbox them together, which is so special. And I thought it'd be fun. You guys are all obsessed with her. She is the star really of the wild. show. Honestly, we meet people and they're like, oh, we, we love you, Leonora, but actually your mother. I'm like, I, I know. <laughs> You're making so me blush. Here she is. And um, we need to get started. So, well, that's what we've got here is just the random boxes. Yeah, there's um, a bit of like a mumble jumble. We've been collecting for years. Half of it's your stuff. So some of my stuff, all thrown in. Uh, stuff the florists have bought over the years. We've got stories behind a few bits. From Grandma, which is um, lovely. Sort of finished the tree. We have. You guys have seen them. our tree. And actually, Mummy picked up all of the bows from my Tivon event in November. And... I have very delicately placed them on the tree and it has made it. So I will of course show you that. Now, what do we have? Well, kind of... I, I, I think we, we haven't got much to be perfectly nice well, yet. Well, normally we would have more than one tree, but because... We've got, I tell you what we have got is we've got these beautiful oh, things. Oh, absolutely um, stunning. They're like um, they're Christmas pomegranates are bursting open. But that, I think, looks best in, in, in this room. So with we're the, going to do... beautiful sparkly birds. I can't remember where we got this from. Look at this. So I am uh, going to do the most almighty tablescape you've ever seen in here. But that is going to come on another vlog. Those were Look there. at this pomegranate. It is absolutely beautiful. So, right, so I think that. actually it's safe to say that everything in here is for the dining room. Okay, um, perfect. The are these are gorgeous. I think sometimes we, we hang, hang them. them from the chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, more is more. Uh, you know, uh, another, uh, pomegranate. Uh, another pomegranate. Another pomegranate. What do they call it when you're in a factory and it's like a, a factory line? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Another pomegranate. And we do yeah. take pride in making sure that we wrap everything up beautifully and safely for the year after. I always tell you this, when it comes to a tablescape, lighting is everything. You can't have enough of these sparkly little voltives. I think these came from Pottery Barn when we lived in America. And I have been collecting them and you've been collecting them. And we have a beautiful uh, collection now between yeah. the two of us. And um, really Mummy's kind of like handed over the baton, really, haven't you? I definitely have. I would, <laughs> I, I would almost have gone a bit more minimalist a, a couple of years ago, but then you are definitely not going down that route. No, so we that, are not. More is more. We want to sparkle. Mm -hmm. So sparkle. we are going to get all the shoes back out again. All that glitters yeah. and all oh, that these gold. Are sweet. Uh, yes, they're absolutely. Were they a John Lewis buy? No, 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 no. It, th these will be pottery barn, but that that should have a little battery, a battery in, it. in it, and it all lights up. It's absolutely and it glows. Beautiful. Look at how sweet that is. So, do you think actually, if I took the little thing off, put a battery, and they could actually go down the table? Yes, yeah, so absolutely. And they, I think that's they, gorgeous. They, okay. They are really. Note precious. to yourself: put on the shopping list batteries. I wonder what batteries these are. This is the problem. You don't turn them off. Well, um, I don't think they last forever, and I think that it is a rather dumb job that these little batteries. Right. Okay. So we've got more these and more These are all candles, which are fantastic. You're almost really helping me out here by getting everything ready yes. for the tablescape. So you're going to do that. Well, I don't use it. So these these have been kicking around since uh, COVID when we had. A full table laid with the beautiful Fortner and Mason um, crackers, which we get every year. Um, a tradition from my mother, really, to go to Fortner yeah, to get the crackers. Yeah, it's so special. And that year that um, Mark got COVID, and we all got locked down. We all... It wasn't actually the COVID Christmas, it was the Christmas after. 
And so nobody came. I think had he, all the crackers. I agree. I agree. So love it. So we saved them. We, we saved them. We saved them. We can recycle those. We do love it to recycle. Now. Oh, oh, a little bit of a gold reindeer. Love a gold reindeer. Yeah, yes, He's we, fabulous. I'm definitely I thinking did, gold reindeers down the. Down I did. The, I did go through a stage where. I think I had a reindeer addiction. And we've got so many damn reindeers. Oh, oh my God. I'm really they're all having a burgundy moment. Yeah. Oh, I am so into the burgundy this year. The I burgundy the this year the, is the way everything. The down the tree with the burgundy bows um, you, from your Mama. event. It, I mean, it really looks fantastic, Diana. And it's nice to be able to I'm reuse those. I'm very proud of you that I'm able. Oh my God, these are So ancient. I got the seal to approve. I got a few, a few of those are on the tree. Yeah. So I got the seal of approval, have I? Yeah, you set me have my darling. We did you well! It, you do it better than me. Used to, run out of you heard it here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Run out of a, a bit of steam. But it, it gives me pleasure to see you doing it all now. Okay, so we've got more tissue oh, paper. These are always quite good for the table. Oh, wow. Uh, I love they those. They are the, the mirrors. They create light from the bottom of the table yes, upwards. So little sparkly mirrors that will go all the way down the centre. So where would you suggest actually and buying these? And these are fantastic. These hang from here. Where would you suggest buying these? Um, they take the, a lot of this stuff comes America. from probably buying in America. Yeah, I'll try and find some and barrel. But um, is it West? Uh, is it Western? Uh, there, is, there is um. There is a make that is quite similar to pottery, but I'm not thinking about it. Like restoration hardware. Well, restoration hardware now has opened in England. I can't believe it. I can't it. believe it. I'm dying to go down there. No, I, I think I would love to go. We have I would to go. Really love to Actually, go. we should all take you to uh, restoration hardware yes. because that was our stomping ground. It's. Um, I mean, it's, you were a woman opened, on the mission. Yes, it's opened in an annual park. Um, in Buckinghamshire, so it's not far away. Not far away at all. Uh, but they have gone quite sort of the different look from what it used to be 20 years ago. These are beautiful, darling. They are. So and we have got some lovely those. things. Between, yeah. um, I definitely would agree with your reindeer addiction. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Oh dear. Do we think she oh. has? <laughs> <laughs> Do we think she has a reindeer but, but, addiction? Listen, the table soaks up a lot. Okay, so we'll put the reindeer down there for now. Like, hydration stations. Stay hydrated. Oh, darling, thank you. <laughs> More little birdies. They're so sweet. I need a bit like deja vu. I know, we're on my memories. In, um, Canistelle. Canistelle. And now we're unpacking some of Grandma's stuff, my stuff, yours stuff. Um, what are you with these? Um, I think things. they're more uh, for your kitchen, really. I think so. Um, I think they would look better in there. Oh, they and of course, one next year, maybe we'll do Christmas in Mallorca. And uh, we'll have to go and buy some new decorations for there. Lemons! <laughs> Very different. much more sort of scanty look down I there all the time. So. Now these are beautiful, but one thing you have to do with these. I have shown everybody these. I unboxed these at the oh, very, okay. very, very and, beginning. And, and you have to, you have to. Painstakingly. And yes, and, and it is a, a bit of a job, but you've got a glass of champagne. <gasps> oh, you, you, you were sent those. I know, you? last yeah. year. Last year, last year before? Yeah. They're fabulous. Where did they come from? Oh gosh, I'll, I'll remember where they came from and I will link them down below. They probably won't be exactly the same because as Mummy said, they were a couple of years ago. But if I pop one of them down, I mean look at that, his teeth chatter and he's fabulous. So they will most certainly go somewhere. I'm not sure whether they're the table vibe, but I'm not me. sure. Have we got a wig pig? Have we got a wig pig coming to help us out? The delicious one. The delicious one. No, I don't think you want the swans. You want some random things to. Yes, always love random like yeah. eight, um, okay. pine cones. So again, this is what I'm saying. Save it all. Save it all. Use it for years to come. I think these are years old. Oh, look at these. Oh, we've had these for a fair few years. We have. These are the um, Mackenzie Childs. 
beautiful gold, red and black and the, the traditional black and white and we put little voltives in, in these. More reindeer. <laughs> now these, where do we put these? Um, <sighs> why don't we just have like one of the consoles as like, I mean it's like in the forest. I mean they, you know, the uh, Well, I think we have more voltives. One thing that should be done though before we put these all out is to um, make sure they're all yeah, cleaned get rid of the and old, old candles. You get rid yes, of uh, Grandma, he has got an unreliable willy and I don't know where he is. Right, okay, we need to find him. Lancelot! Lancelot of Flutter, come here. Where is he? Lancelot! Oh dear, Grandma. Okay, we found him. I know the tree looks epic. It really does. Oh, um, I see what I found that you could add. I cannot find the angel for the life of me. Well, we... I've been searching. What are we going to do? I feel um, actually quite emotional I... about it because okay, that we angel. Um, I tell you what, you haven't used. Um, and I found the I other didn't day. really like them. They look a bit. I think they've had their day. Have they? How old are they? Oh, I don't know. Well, these are sweet because you can. So sweet because I'm actually going to put those on the yeah. silver. Um, and Daddy hates it. I put all these sparkly birds on the family silver, and he said, "What is the point?" So the point is, more is more. <laughs> Glittery, gorgeous birds. Um, those are the Mackenzie Child baubles. I know they are beautiful. Let me um, see that. Do you remember the year where we had the massive structure in, in the kitchen? In the kitchen with the Mackenzie Child. Now these are pretty. I'm surprised you haven't put those on. They thing. weren't. They weren't part of the colour scheme. Oh, they're so divine. Can we keep them for the kitchen? Kimberly bought those for you. I know. I showed. I showed everybody. They're my favourite. Um, from, from, from Highgrove Shop in um, Tetbury. Look at these. They're absolutely beautiful. I, and they're sweet. Oh, no, no, no. There's, absolutely there's more. beautiful. There's I so many of them. These. But we normally always have more than one tree. So. No, I, I, I definitely would keep these all together. Well, um, that's why they're all in there. So let's leave them all in there. Okay. I, I would love to see those somewhere. Maybe okay. In, in, in. So that's a, rent, a little bit of a random box then. Okay. okay. Um, let's go. Moving on here. What have you I think this is. This is just more and more of the, the lovely voltage. We'll definitely get the, they're like gorgeous little dainty sparkly tea lights. I'm going to spin you around slightly there so you can see Mummy in her element. And um, you really can't have enough of these if you have a dinner party at night. Oh, um, so we're going to have our Christmas lunch quite late in the day, so to, to, to light them all up. I can't wait to do my full tablescape in here. I think it will be so special. And um, how many are we on Christmas Day? We're um, Mark and myself, you and Daddy, Cameron, Venera, Angie and Tony. And Alistair. Alistair. So we're not, we need ten. Yeah. Nine. Is, the, is Helen coming? I don't know. My I brother's don't. girlfriend. Uh, so there's always some somebody who sort of we make always adopt moment. somebody. <laughs> Anywho, right, more okay. more of this stuff. I'd actually yeah. like to get all of this out because honestly, you can never have too many, and they're going to be dotted around the table. Right. I'm on on the mission to find the angel, but I, I I've looked it everywhere. Do you remember the? I, I mean, it would be honestly criminal to take it out of its box. But do you remember the limited edition no. 2000 Barbie with the gold dress? No. I know it looked tacky. Mm. All about tacky, no. but fabulous. Well, why don't we go on Etsy and get a new angel? I know, but there's so many memories with that angel. She is somewhere. Well, she is somewhere, but the, the, only, the only thing that I would potentially do, it would be so tacky, but I love it, is the gold dash end on the top of the tree. Not enough of a peak. Peak, that's true. They're a bit long, a bit long and thin. <laughs> right, okay, well. Well, I kind of think that's everything. Mm. We've made an absolute mess, but it's going to get worse before it gets better. Oh, I don't know what these are lovely. 
Uh, th th that's for the kitchen, those lovely leaves. And they, they, gorgeous, they would go, yeah. with they would go really well with my burgundy colour scheme. Gorgeous leaves with, of course, sparkles on them. I've made a complete mess down here. But, trust me, it's going to go from this into the most incredible Christmas tablescape. But that is going to be on a whole nother vlog. So what do you think of my tree? I think it's amazing. And I definitely think the burgundy bows have pulled it all together. The burgundy bows feathers. have definitely made it. Really <gasps> I used to do lots of pheasant feathers, but you've made a lot more sort of... Um, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy. I can't wait until all of our presents. I normally do it with, you know, a bottle of champagne, and by the end of the evening, it's completely cool. legless. <laughs> Random. You've done a good job. Don't you worry. I was actually vlogging the whole thing, and I had a bottle of champagne, and it definitely was going that way. But I am so pleased with the way that it turned out. Well, Christmas has certainly come early for these little munchkins. <gasps> Look at you and your new beds. Huh? What do you think, Odie? Do you love your new beds? Oh my goodness, they are so sweet. They are so, so cute and they absolutely love them. Wiggy, in your beds. Wiggs, in your beds. Go on then, in. <laughs> there is something about a sausage dog that absolutely loves to get all cosy and warm in their schnud beds. And that is literally how they get in <laughs> and they sleep all day by the Arga. Quite literally, Arga slugs, aren't you little babies? Arga slugs. What do you think of your new beds, babies? Huh? They are so gorgeous and I love this green. I cannot tell you how soft they are. They're this gorgeous like velvety suede on the top and this beautiful green and then the fluff on the inside is just gorgeous. Lancelot is feeling very jealous. Yes. So we normally always have three beds here and either one dog is on the sofa or on the other <laughs> beds that we have in the kitchen down by the doors. They've got their ochre thrones I think it's safe to say that the boys absolutely adore their new Charlie Chow beds. <laughs> they are just so sweet. Wigs, are you happy in there? Are you as snug as a bug in a rug? Yeah? Oh, Ravi. Oh, living the life of Riley. Aren't you, boys? Anyway, does anybody want to come out? Do you want to come out? Come and see the Christmas lights? Yeah? <laughs> I think that's a yes from Odie and Lancelot. The other two are as snug as a bug in their Charlie Chow snugs. <laughs> I actually just can't cope. <laughs> I cannot cope. If this is your excuse to buy a Charlie Chow snood bed, then this is it. The three saucies are obsessed. They are so happy and so snuggly. Oh my goodness me, I just can't cope. We're making ourselves some gorgeous little Christmas canapes because mummy and I are having girls night tonight. So we're gonna sign off here. We truly hope you guys have enjoyed watching a mummy daughter day in London. We went shopping, had a gorgeous lunch at the Brasserie oh, of Light. Oh, the lunch was absolutely divine. Oh, that aubergine, oh. the bang bang chicken, highly recommend it. We then had a bit of a, you know, a Harley Street in the middle of it, but, all good news. All positive and all, yeah. It's yeah. all great news and something that is so important. Please, first of all, check yourself. And second of all, go and have your mammograms done. I know it's a horrible thing and- Never nice to have done, but it's so, so important. So important. Um, and then we've just had the most gorgeous evening doing the final Christmas unboxing. We've had a few glasses of champagne now at this point. We're probably going to have a, a few more. <laughs> and have a mummy daughter evening so and, uh, just snuggle down with our sausages all the sausages we're going to have sausage snogs on the sofa so we truly Lovely. hope you guys have enjoyed watching and i will see you tomorrow